Hey everybody, good afternoon and welcome to another miniature unboxing video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the WizKids 40 Terrain Encampment set. And this has a, a bunch of goodies inside of here. Has a three wedge tents, two lean toasts, whatever those are. I, I don't know, I'm not a, a big camper, but there's two of those. And there's four bed rolls that are rolled out, two packed bed rolls. Wow, there's actually quite a bit in this set. There's a fire pit, a spit with a rabbit, which is pretty cool. A fish on a stick. Never have too many fishes on a stick. There's a pot of stew. There's two piles of gear. There's a horse, a hitch post, a pile of stacked chop wood. Uh, actually, there's two of them. One that's uh, neatly stacked and one that's uh, a haphazard, it says. <laughs> There's a, a stump. Oh, they're cool. There's an, a stump with an axe in it. There's two lanterns, two chests. Ooh, a gem pile, a gold pile. Wow, I like that. A guard dog, a camp table, a two-wheeled cart, and four-legged stools. Four four-legged stools. Wow, there's a lot in here. So let's get this open up, shall we? Oh, wow, there's actually two layers of... Uh, I haven't seen that yet in, in any of these WizKid sets. So I, I paid around 20 I think it was like 20 to 30 bucks for this set. And wow, there's a lot in here, actually. Wow, and there's two levels of this stuff. Wow, this is really cool. There's a lot of small parts, people, so I would recommend putting all these small pieces into like a, uh, a small Tupperware container or, you know, like a... Uh, like a Ziploc bag or something. That's what I do with all the small pieces. So, all right. So I'm using the uh, immersive maps, which is a which is a great uh, utility that has. It's like a big flip book with all these different types of maps. Uh, you can do a search for it, and let's start opening it up. I, I, I figured using that would really kind of, you know, highlight the the miniatures a little bit more. Uh, I do want to apologize for the crunching because these miniatures are somewhat difficult to get out of the, the packs. And I apologize about that. But, eh, you can handle some crunching. You're probably an adult watching this video. You can handle it. Don't get offended by the crunching. Yes, some people probably will. <laughs> Here you go. Here's what the three uh, identical tents look like. They had a post. You could definitely put some minis in there. Uh, they got a good, nice, uh, dry, dry brush to it. So we'll kind of set these up in camp for our adventurers. There are two. Uh, looks like they're a three by two, so they fit perfectly on the 27 millimeter map. So here are our. Oh wow! So these are the. Ah, oh, these are the lean toss. Okay, I got it. I got it now. Got to be careful with these because it looks like there's a couple of posts posts that uh, make it the lean top. So what does this got on it? Looks like wood. Maybe they're drawing something out. So you can just kind of set those up. Looks cool. We'll put our kind of put our tents over here and we'll say that they're drying something out. I guess that's what it's for. Let me know down in the content section. I mean, I could Google it, but hey, somebody leave a comment why uh, what a lean toss is. So here is a uh, here's a cart. This looks like the same cart from one of the other sets, but it looks like it's painted differently with a uh, a brighter metallic. I like that look. So we can put the the cart there. We've got a horse. Here we go. Same type of horse from the other set, but that's okay. I mean, you need more animals in sets, so uh, I'm okay with that. Here is the. Uh, this looks like the. Uh, I guess this is the target, target dummy. So they can get some practice while they're while they're camping. Here is a. Uh, these things are pretty pretty fun to get out. So this is something your your I guess this is your hitch post for your horses. I like the grass detail there. We can kind of put that there. But I do like these immersive battle maps. These are these are pretty nice. Oh, here's the pile of adventuring gear. The two different piles of adventuring gear. This is cool. All kinds of packs and look at a bunch of swords and weapons and stuff piled up. So 
that over there by their tents. Keep it close to them. Here is our uh, our logs, two piles of logs, and we also have the uh, bench as well. Good. Piles of wood, we'll kind of put these over here. Maybe they're out logging and they're gonna fill up their wagon. But then again, I got a bunch of stuff on there that they're adventuring with, so yeah. So here's all the small pieces. These are, uh, well, these are pretty nice. So how am I gonna get these out of here? Are these, I'm wondering, okay, so there is a, another layer, wow, these, Want the extra effort to uh, keep all these. Yeah, see, these things are flying around already, too. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, here's our chest. We've got two chests here. The doors do not open. But these chests look pretty good. I like that. Ah, oh, but look at here. It looks like the piles of treasure go inside of the chest. So that is a pretty ingenious little idea. So you got the chest here. They are empty. They're actually detailed fairly well. And then you got the two piles of treasure with all the bling. And it looks like you just put these in here. Yeah, look at that. Wow. So you can actually have treasure in a chest or you can give your party empty chest. Yeah, you just put those in there. Yeah, it looks cool. I like that. Pretty cool, nice little, nice little uh, detail, you know, little, nice little touch there. A little, little harder to get in there, but it works. Uh, here is our cooking. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Our pot, our cooking pot. I like that. Put that up there. We've got a, we've got a barrel of looks like a barrel of arrows wow pretty cool we've got a table and four chairs so these are well four stools basically i had to turn the ac on it was getting so hot so we've got a table over here we've got some we've got some stools that we'll put around it wow there's a there's a lot of uh, pieces in this set i really like this this is a really nice set and it wasn't super expensive it was like a 20 30 bucks here's our pig here's our fire we'll put our fire down we'll put our pig and our spit and i like the fire because check out the look check out the cooking pot and a spoon sticking out of it yeah, and we've got our fire with our logs and uh, some clear, you know, orangish plastic with flames. I like that. Pretty cool. Here's our pig on a spit. Doesn't turn, but no, it's a rabbit on a spit, I think. Yeah. Put that over the fire. Yeah, some good details. Here are, uh, I'm not too sure what these are. I'd have to... I'd have to break out my glasses. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff that's in here that's not on the back of the box. So I'm not too sure what that is. But it says a, uh, oh, this is the fish. Yeah, that's right. Here's the fish on a stick. So they're drying out some fish, it looks like, as I just spilled our stew. Here's the closed bed rolls that we have. We have two bed rolls. We have two lanterns. So those are cool. There's the, there's the the lanterns, bed rolls, and the lanterns have that nice yellowish glass. So we can put the lanterns on the table. We've got the the bed rolls that we can we can kind of put on on the side, or maybe we can put those in the cart. We've got four bed rolls. We've got a bed roll for each one of these tents. So, man, this there's a lot of pieces in here. Holy cow. I'm impressed. What's up with that? A bunch of pieces. I like these. Yeah, so here we go. We got two green and two brown bed rolls. 
Pretty cool. Kind of lay this, kind of lay this around, you know. We've got a, a dog, a wolf wolf. We've got a dark dog, a black dog with uh, nice shiny teeth and eyes. And uh, a nice colored, uh, brownish colored collar. We've got our, st our uh, stump with our axe in it. Pretty cool. We've got, and I don't like this too. This is pretty cool. Here is a, a glued together clump. I, I remember these Hullabergs that were in the Castle Barracks set. And it looks like they've been all glued together. And here is a barrel that you just put these in. So you have a barrel of Hullabergs too, which is pretty awesome. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Over 30 pieces, about 35 to 40 pieces in this set. So this is a nice set. This would go well with any of the other 40 terrains too. I mean, you can use these chests, these pile of treasures and stuff. You can use all you can use all this stuff in any of the sets. That's the great thing about these WizKids sets is they're all compatible with one another. They're all 27 millimeter scale. So uh, I really like this set. This is probably one of the one of the sets that I like the most so far. I even like the the barrel of arrows. Those would be good good to put into a dungeon or the barrel of Hallbergs. I mean the bed rolls. I mean etc. So there we go, everybody. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this unboxing. Why don't you guys leave a comment down below? Let me know how you guys would use some of these uh, miniatures. And let me know what these are. Let me know what the uh, the lean toss are. What is that on there? Are they drying out? Are they drying out meat or are they drying out leather or something? I don't know. Le leave a comment. I could Google it, but I'm going to let you guys tell me. So thanks for watching, everybody. I want to join the discussion in the comment section. So leave one, please. Also, thumbs up the video if you like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all your miniature sets, Pathfinder 2 and Starfinder. So everybody, thanks again for watching. And until next time, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye for now.